Oh yeah. Let's get it going. Drop that beat. What's up Z? How we doing today? Ready to crush? Let there be light. Oh yeah, the notification gang crushing. Woo! We're doing it. Got a little rip today. No, life of Griffin. I, ha I haven't bought any of the project cards yet. If they come out with a Tatis, I'm buying it for sure. Or maybe even a bow. Or... I don't know, like if they did a Ty Cobb one, I'd buy that. Or an Al K line, or. I don't know. I don't know about 2014 Bowman draft. It's going back a little far. Hopefully, you guys watch that video and. You know, where I hope, I hope it was able to help you. We got a little bit of negative feedback. But that's okay, it's bound to happen. Oh, you watched me crack that oyster? That was a fun day. I got scared after that that I was going to get sick. It's like, oh man, I'm going to get sick off of this for sure. But I didn't. What's up, Mark? The cards are going for a lot. You bought the trout. It was 20 but selling for 200 Doesn't make sense. What's up, Chad? Okay, let me... Fire up my whatever this thing's called YouTube Live Studio. No, 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 Gypsy Queen relics. Not that I, or, well, I guess there's, I think there might be a sock relic or something. We'll have to, we'll have to look and see. Last year there were sock relics, so there might be, but they're really hard to pull. Almost impossible. Okay. Alright, let's see. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Adding a thumbnail. How is that the thumbnail? There we go. Not made for kids. And safe. Next auction, probably doing next week. I gotta look at the calendar and see what's going on, but we'll do a break or two next week. And maybe on the off day or potentially after one of the breaks, we'll do an auction. So, you know what that means. Send me an email with the cards you would like to see in the auction. Oh, the final step is the hardest part, Chad. Actually, all the parts are the hardest part. I couldn't believe it. I was able to get some today. I couldn't believe it. It was so hard to, like... I don't know. It, it just happened. I tried over and over and over. I've probably spent in the last three days um, at least 10 hours sitting in front of the computer, like hitting a refresh. What's up, Joe? Good to see you. Were you able to score any of those, Joe? Any of those packs? First edition? You have given Mookie Betts a necklace and he wears it. It's really cool because I have a connection now. They've been in the field and met the team before. It's pretty amazing. What kind of necklace was it? Rombe! What's up, brother? I'm doing great. Finished my compost structure. I built a three compartment structure to for compost. So I got that completed today. I feel good, I feel productive.
got in, got some got some Bowman cards, double production. I was talking to Cubby, and he got some too, and he's like, I felt like I won the lottery. I'm like, yeah, I know, me too. Like, I've literally been just, like, strutting around. Like, I accomplished something great, a great task, a great accomplishment. It was a struggle. It took many, many hours. You got a few of them? Nice. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'll have to check that out. The necklace. Hold on, I'll be right back. So it's so exciting to actually like get those Bowman cards. I can't wait to get them in the mail because I, I've been an FOTL guy for a while and they haven't had a release in a while and they've been doing the reverse auction, like the Dutch auction. And man, when you actually get those FOTLs after just being right there on a computer, the exact time that they go live and just somehow being lucky enough to get them, it feels so good when you actually, when you actually do that. Beating out the bots. That's right, Joe. Outsmarting the bots. Ben says, I hit big on my birthday. Opened up an opening day blaster and pulled a Mike Trout Mementos relic. Wow. That is a big hit, man. Those are rare. We opened up a whole case, and I think we only got, what, one relic? Two relics, maybe? Anyone able to find Mosaic Basketball Retail? No. What's the, what's the story with that, TNA? When was that supposed to kick off? Was that... Because um, usually my stores around here don't get the product for a few days after release. Like three days after. Gotta find out. What's the Mosaic all about? I need to know. I must know. Oh, you saw an empty box at Meyer? Oh man, it came out this week. Is it is it pretty hot? Should I go scoop some up if I can find them? I haven't been out of my house. <laughs> I'm just. I mean, I know you guys are. Everybody's quarantined, but I haven't really left my house to other than going to the post office in a long time. I think what two or three weeks ago I ventured out and got some some retail, but. It's been a while. Oh, it's like Top's update. Whoa. So you're telling me I should swoop it up. It's a pretty cramped screen. Shall we just focus on the big dog? It's going to be a relatively small break today. Probably won't take too long I don't know I'm thinking maybe maybe about an hour depending on how slow I am but we got that to do then I have three breaks worth of cards to pack and ship and I'm, I'm shooting for getting them out tomorrow morning if I can if I can get it all packed up and shipped tonight which I have everything else all sorted and ready to go <clears throat> and I shipped out some stuff already the people that bought into the first break that weren't in any of the other ones. Yeah, this is some pretty trippy music. This one's called Waterfalls. Doesn't really sound like a waterfall. Maybe the waterfall, like, draining out of the bat cave or something. You opened a 2019 update fat pack and pulled a Biebs all-star game relic. That's pretty lucky too. But those fat packs have a good value. The fat packs and the hanger boxes probably have the best value. Yes. 
Lasso. We're going to do a bonfire tonight. Sounds fun. You sold your trout tops finest to two ninety nine. Whoa. Did you get a good price? That's a sweet card. Pete Alonzo first Bowman autos have been sliding way lower than market price. It's a very interesting time right now, Joe. Um, it's really hard to put your finger on a lot of things. I was thinking about an angle today that I hadn't really put too much thought into, but you know, the report, there, a report came out about from the CBO saying that they expect inflation to <clears throat> increase like 100% or triple digits. So, you know, that's not guaranteed, but if it does happen, there's a potential that single cards would go up. I'm an optimist. There's more money in circulation and goods and services increase in price. Well, it's only natural that the cards would increase too. However, I see current card prices with the, it's tough to say what they're doing because I've, I've heard reports of people saying that they're selling their cards like crazy. And then some people are saying that in certain cards are going lower, which always happens. Cards ebb and flow. But maybe with the Pete stuff, people are figuring out that he's a little bit older. A little bit older. And maybe the dad bod scaring some people off. I don't know. I don't know what it is. We, all we can do is speculate. And wonder. Talk amongst ourselves. Figure out these problems, these situations. Try to predict the future. Where are we going from where we have been? Roan Bear thinks it's peaked. Pete was out of shape this spring training. Not shocked. Not shocked at all. Oh, Brent, you got that same card? Wow. It's pretty wild. This is really, this, this song's called Frostbitten Sunrise. Let it dance around between your ears. Get those tingles going up and down your spine. So yeah, as soon as, as soon as those cards ship, I'm going to reserve some to do in breaks, and I'm going to open some of them myself for my PC, and I'll probably hold on to some of them. Yeah, I made, I made it through Wix, Dylan. What's up, Jason? Everybody's crushing. Going to be gearing up for the randomization very soon. Strikerbreaks.com. Subscribe. Become a member of the YouTube channel. Just hit that join button. It's only $1.99 per month. If you want to be really sweet. If you want to become a hitter. If you want a green highlight on your name. And a special logo. Others have made the wise choice. Oh, now we're, now we're Terminator 2. Maybe a little bit. Hi, Allie. All right, let's get this ready to roll. Dun, 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 dun. Tough to say, Ben. Go search on eBay, find your exact card, and then go to sold listings. See what it's sold for recently. That'll give you the best idea of what it's worth. 
Because card prices fluctuate, it could be one thing one day and another the next. And there's really no way of being able to tell during the current climate with no sports of what's going to go up, what's going to go down. It's, uh, it's the game. It's the game we play. Here we go. Dropping it down. Crash. All right, let's grab those teams and do our three randomizings. One, two, and three. Leading off, Chicago. Oh, come on. There we go. Now we grab the buy-ins. Frostbitten sunrise. How does it make you feel on the inside? Oh boy, six times. Six, six, six times. Five and six, Christopher C. Leading off. Okay, here we go. Leading off. Diamondbacks, Anthony C, Braves, Mauricio D, Orioles, Nicholas A, Red Sox, Robert H, Cubs, Colt D, White Sox, Christopher C, Reds, Luke B, Indians, Michael E, Rockies, Mauricio D, Tigers, Colt D, Astros, Brandon K, Royals, Colt D, Angels, Jeremy Y, Dodgers, Michael E, Marlins, John C, Brewers, Christopher E, Twins, David B, Mets, Stephen J, Yankees, Mauricio D, Athletics, Brandon M, Phillies, Michael E, Pirates, Cubby, Padres, Colt D, Giants, Anthony C. Mariners, Colt D. Cardinals, Glenn N. Rays, Chad P. Rangers, Christopher E. Blue Jays, Chad P. Nationals, Joseph J. Let's go! Dropping the link. Yeah, Rogan's the greatest toe of all time. It's a human toe. Hello, crazy Chinese writing. This song is called Sing Farewell to the Year. Say farewell. All right, I'm printing my sheet out. I'll be right back. It's got to be in the center. There. Oh, 
All right. So let's see. <laughs> yeah, is this Woodstock? Might as well be. Okay, so quick shout out. It's Mike E's birthday. it is we got we got Mikey in this one so shout out to Mikey Arnold Brakes hooked him up for his birthday so good luck sir hope you get something good hope you get something real good wow this one's called it's a Willie Green Christmas Let's go back to the top. I think we're getting into some weird stuff. I'm almost through the 185 song playlist. So we'll go back up to the top where we get a little bit of rhythm, a little bit of motivation. Get pumped up. J and J, your birthday also? Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday to everyone whose birthday is within five days. If it's six days away, I'm afraid the birthday wishes are gone. Till next year. All right, let's start with, oh man. Okay, let's just do the Don Ross first. This is some rock techno. Will that work? Also called house chill. I call this house chill. Okay, so yesterday Whitey did a pretty good job. I think we need to find a new one. I got just the thing, guys. I got just the thing. Wait. All right, so here, here's today's good luck charm. And I'm going to still use Bud Selig to sweep away the bad. That's, that's what we found. But our new good luck charm is the Bill Ripken F-Face. Not only is it the F-Face, but it's the saw blade cut. And it's not the common saw blade one this is a, a more rare version now i know these can be counterfeited but i'm pretty sure this one's real because it came from an actual card shop so and it, i mean it's possible that it's not but eh, we'll try it maybe it's lucky these down rust boxes will run you at least like 81 probably plus tax and shipping. I don't know if they've gone up yet. I haven't looked in a couple days. Or if they're going to go up, I don't know. I don't know how that works. But it's a prime candidate for the bill hook because it's got this nice little lip right here. I can just slide it right in. Look at that, it's real easy. That's true, you don't need luck on Don Ross. This is old Billy's trial run right here. We're just gonna see if he's got what it takes. Gonna give it a standard sweep with old Bud Selig and his old ridiculous toupee. And then Billy's gonna do his thing. Let's see if he's lucky or if he's just, if it's just his, his family name that got him where he's where he's at. We'll see. Think you saw that bill hook in the Halloween movies? Yeah, it's a 
pretty standard Michael Myers weapon. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Joe. You found that trout card, 25 and 50. That's a good, that's a good price. Trout stuff always holds good value. There's a blue Tatis, looking good. Billy's just chilling. Who was it? I don't know if it's ever been confirmed. I, you know, there's rumors of who pulled the prank, but I don't know if the, he ever confirmed, or if it was actually him. There's a little trout. Ah, it's a sweet Devers. 80 out of 100. Going to Boston. Robert H. Let's go. The only bad part about the Don Ross cards is sorting them. It just takes it a little bit longer. Because I always look at the logo. My eye goes right there. So I have to train it to go down there. And a Rizzo, okay. So the packs are looking loaded with numbered cards already. That's a good sign. So we get a Rizzo to 498. So that's how many extra base hits he has. It's going to Colt. Oh, that hit directly on the light. Look at it, it bent the corner. No dingers. We got this gentleman's autograph yesterday. He needs to work on his mustache. And there's so many good, fun jokes out of Bowman. So many fun things. And this song is called As Nature Flows. I wonder where they came up with the names for these. I wonder if they have a random name generator for songs. And they just use that. It was Cal. He confirmed it. Yeah, I heard it was Cal doing a prank, but I don't know. It, it's been so much time, you might as well admit it. So this one's going to the A's. Chris McMahon. And AJ Puck. Poquito. Let's see, we got the blue Schwarber. All right, Billy. Give us a banger. Nice blue Vlad. It's a sweet one, I like that. The blue on blue is where it's at. El Nino, here's the Aquino rookie. That one's going to the Reds, Luke B. Tram. Good to see Trammel getting some respect. So what are you guys doing tonight? You guys got a, uh, a night on the town planned? Is anybody going to a speakeasy? Is anybody brave in the wilderness going to their friend's house to have a cocktail? Or are you guys, you guys doing as you're told? Roan Bear with the $2. Hit that like, folks. Thanks, Roan Bear. That's right. I haven't hounded anybody for likes. I hate doing it. You should do it on your own. Likes equals luck. You want to see good cards? Slap the like. Whoopsh, whoopsh. Sam's on top of it. Kyle Lewis, number to 400, rated rookie, going to Seattle, Colt.
Dustin May. Okay, we got all our hits. Still. Let's just prepare, because they're coming. Got at least three. Attaboy, Joe. That's what I'm talking about. Bellinger to 400. Cody Bellinger, number to 400. Going to Mike Lee. Whoa. Hold on just a second. Hold on. Adjust. There we go. Nick Solak, always coming around. that end up over there A little shill card where's Clayton Claus I thought I'd give him a little break see if anybody could come in and match his skills but no cigar so far we're trying different characters a new cast of characters out oh really Joe thank you for the gravy Here we go. What is this all about? Oh, that's okay. It's to nine ninety nine. Looks strange. These ones always get me. The ones to nine ninety nine look special. I mean, they are pretty special, but it's a cool show. Hey. Where are those hits at? This pack right here, you say? Okay. Maybe. Just maybe. It is. What are the odds? I guessed right. Come on, someone awesome. Oh, it's Trey Mancini. Whoa, that's a special one. Look at that with the red stripes instead of the blue. Trey Mancini, numbered to 99. That's a pretty solid auto out of here. Going to Nicholas. The red Mancini to 99. Digging it. Orioles hit. Just made Nicholas's day. If you're going to get an Orioles hit, Trey Mancini is a good one. He's no Cal Ripken Jr., but. What do we got here? Another hit. Here it is. Okay. Let's bring these ones up to the front. Save the hit for last. No, it's a sticker auto. Yeah, he's no Cedric Mullins, but it'll do. Okay, here it is. Three, two, one. A boom. Oh, nice. A Vladdy Jr. relic. Blue on blue. That's an attractive card right there. Very attractive. Going to Chatty P. Nice attractive card. Hey, right, we got two of them out of the way. Yeah, I like it. Mm, 
Speaking of Baltimore Legends, the Cal Ripken star card with that rough back. Dylan Cease. Lots of cows. Cheryl, what's going on? Doing great, how are you? We're just busting our first Don Russ. First and only, first box of three. Got this cool Trey Mancini, like a red parallel, numbered to 99. And then we got the Vladdy patch. We're trying out a new good luck charm today. It's the Bill Ripken F face card, but the special one with a notch out of it. And not the long notch, the short notch that's off to the side a little bit. So hoping that that will bring us good luck. You've heard that there are delays in the U.S., but Canada and Meyer is selling them. Are you talking about those mosaics, Joe? I have to... I think I missed what you're talking about. Local Meyer. I can't go back. We got Dave Winfield to 465. Going to the Yanks. Who's got the Yankees? Mauricio's got the Yankees. There you go, buddy. All right. Oh, the mosaic. Okay, cool. I'm going to have to... I got to go find them then. Hopefully it's not too late. Dave Durango. What's happening, brother? That's crazy about your package, dude. I watched that video. It got destroyed. There's some wild stuff going on in the mail right now. So everybody be patient. It's going to take a while for packages to get to you. So the whole rain, snow, sleet, and hail motto, they're not adding virus to that. It, it stops after hail. Okay, here it is. Kristen Yelich, Elite Series, numbered to 999. Looks like our brewer's luck is continuing. Christopher E. getting the hook up there. You found out last night it had a 2018 update fat. Did they take that out of there? Did they steal stuff out of there, Dave? <laughs> you want all the chips. You're gonna have a monopoly on the Oots chips. And the cards. That's hilarious. This song's called Bored Out of My Gourd. So I took my foot and stapled it to the floorboard of my Ford. That's crazy that those updates are 25. <coughs> wow, they stole it. You didn't know until El Nino told you late last night. 2018 update and some other items were going to auction for charity. Oh, that is... Ugh. Yowzers. That sucks. I mean, that's a federal offense. That's a felony. So someone needs to go down for that. You can't mess with people's mail, dude. They, and they don't take they don't take that lightly. Don Mattingly, New York Yankees. Mauricio. That one's a lower numbered one to 145. Oh. There's a trout. No, it's not a classical mix. 
It's just... It's a... What kind of mix is it? I'll tell you what kind it is. It's a... <laughs> it's a royalty-free back background music mix. That's what kind of mix it is. But there's all different stuff. More, more chill, lo-fi stuff, but... I don't know. They just threw this in there. Hey, Eugenio Suarez to 249. Oh, yeah, the, the blanks do boomerang, boomerang back at me. One landed on my laptop yesterday, and it kind of, well, made me think that I kind of hope it ruins my laptop, so I need to buy a new one. Just kidding. It's perfectly fine. I just bought it in August. It didn't work for getting those Bowman cards, though. It would not even... It wasn't playing. Whoa, another breaker lost 5K in cards. How would they even know? Who Who's packaged to open? And, like, there's so many packages. There's got to be valuable stuff in all kinds of them. Oh, that was a really high one. Almost at the ceiling. Strasburg? You just sent a striker package. Sweet. I think you'll be okay. I hope you will be. I mean, hopefully it's like 0.0001% of packages get messed with, you know, because there's so many going out. Online shipping is like the only industry right now, so they better take care of people. Don't advertise your PO. rut row. I advertise it on everything. I'll... Dude, if someone messes with my package, I will enforce the full extent of the law. I'll go through every step. I don't care. It's the principle. I'll go stand at the post office without a mask on until they deal with me. Oh wow, you're going to the police and USPS. Nice. Call the police! Bum Garner to 650. It's poop again! There's the Robert. Rated rookie Robert. I think this is the first one we've gotten out of these Don Ross boxes lately. I like it though. It's going to Christopher C. on a stand all right we need one more auto Billy's doing okay Got some, it's pretty nice I'm, I'm impressed with the Mancini and Vladdy Jr. is a nice one to get better than it could be that's not a short print is it is it? Maybe that's why it's taking so long. There it is. Here's the auto. Here we go. I'll make you wait. Oh, I know. I know. I know it's killing you. Look at Eugenio. And here it is. Gonna do the flip. In three, two, one. Another one. Wow, this one's a Nicky Lopez to 99. Okay, this was a good lucky box. Cause these little red autos, I these are the only two I've ever seen. I'm sure they're not super, super, super rare, but I don't know. It might be. 911, what's your emergency? They just stole some baseball cards from me out of the mailbox. We'll send the SWAT team right away, sir. What's your address? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your prompt and firm actions. I appreciate you taking this so seriously, ma'am. Because it is. Nikki Lopez. Colt. That one was going to Colt. 
So not a bad spread out of a Don Russ box, I got to admit. Bill's doing okay. But we're always watching. Waiting for waiting for him to mess up. As soon as he does, someone's waiting to take his place. Clayton. I mean, poor Clayton, he didn't deserve this. He didn't deserve to lose his job. I actually said the other day he deserves a raise. I'm just giving him a COVID break. Give him a little time off like everybody else. You got a quick redemption? Dude, I'm waiting on redemptions from like six months ago. Here we go. Who is this? I don't even remember who they are. I just remember submitting them. One from Panini and one from Tops. Got a Nick Lofton. Alec Baum. Um, who's Alec Baum play for? That's who it goes to. Phillies, going to the Phillies. Who's got the Phillies now? Oh, Michael Lee. Okay. Last pack, that's it. Okay, I wanna know honest opinions. How did, how'd Bill do as far as the spread goes? Out of 10, out of 10, 10 being the best, one being the worst. Uh, seven, Colt says seven. Okay, respect. Not great, barely a passing grade. Dave says seven, okay. Brian giving him a little love, eight. Dave changes his mind, 6.5. And Ben comes in at a seven. Looks like we're averaging around a seven. I think I agree. I might go seven. Eh, I think I'd go 7.5 because it can get way worse. Six, seven, okay. We'll say he got us a seven. Should we switch? I'm going to give him one more, one more chance. One more chance. Well, what do you guys want to do next? Do you want to do the Gypsy or the Series One Jumbo? I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need some input here. Yeah, I'll give him a good box to redeem himself. What should his his last chance be? The Gypsy or the Jumbo? Ben says Jumbo. Oh, we got so many alternatives. Series One. Oh, we got Jumbo, Jumbo, GQ last. Okay, okay. I read you. Loud and clear. Here it is, the Jumbo. We got two silver packs in here. So let's just make sure that Selig does his job. We're going to try a standard opening. No bill hook. We got to change up the variables. Seeing if maybe the bill hook is the problem. Never know. Ooh, you think the K-Line's got some juju in it. No way. You'll never believe what this song's called. Wow. This song's called Ascension Under Quarantine. Wow. And it's not, I don't think it's a new song either. I'm gonna have to look. Um, all right, maybe it is last month is when they uploaded it. I was hoping it was just some kind of a crazy coincidence. All right, here, let's, how do we do this? Billy's got to sit on top of everything, soak it all in real good. Just go like this. Well, Jake, I would tell everybody that, but I made a rule. If you want me to promote your channel, you got to be a member. Pretty standard rule. I think it's fair. It only costs $1.99. And you instantly become one of the coolest people in the room. I think it's worth it.
Gotta support what you like. Here we go. So we're going to we're gonna get some good stuff. I've got a feeling. Bill's gonna do his job. We're gonna get at least a, at least one short print. We're gonna get at least one auto and two relics. Some fancy stuff with the silver packs. We're gonna get a few rainbows, a few goldishes. We're gonna get those gold foil cards. All kinds of good stuff. You guys will see these are jacking up in price every every day up to 175 now, depending on where you get it. Okay, we got back to back. We got a rainbow foil and a goldish. Luke Jackson and Cody Bellinger. We got the Victor. Robles and a Johnny Bench. JTR, new hitter. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Smart choices. I love seeing them made. You can immediately judge a person's character by whether or not they're a hitter. It's just the greatest, you know, it's the greatest way to judge a book by its cover. One of those die cut autos. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, we got to get the likes up, too. You guys are slacking. I know you're better. I know you've got it in you. You just, you forgot. Understandable. Real easy to do, though. One click, and it helps. Your old pal Striker out so great. Helps me out so much. Don't even know. Willie! Adames. Going to the Rays. Going to Champy. Here we go. Ta da! Sean Murphy, catcher for the A's. Got a little sticker, auto action. Well, Bill, 0 for 1, sir. I mean, you never know. Who's the. Oh, yeah, Brandon BMAC. He's got the ace. He got the auto, but you know, we could hope for at least a black parallel or something. Let's see. We'll see if there's redemption. Got a Yordan. One step towards redemption. But not really, because you'll probably get all of the rooks out of here. There he is. Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy party. You got that auto? What's up, John? We're going to get a die cut auto. Okay. That's, that's a bold claim. I hope you're right. That's right. Welcome to the Striker Break Saloon, where the pulls are hot, spicy. Here we go. Lots of capsaicin. Is that uh? Nope. Francisco foil. Okay, it's a good one. Got a black. Got a black. Daniel Murphy. So you're not guaranteed one of these schmancies. That one's numbered to 69. Going to the Rockies. The red and or the black and the purple look nice together because it goes with their jersey. They got the black and the purple and the black. It's a nice card. That's all I'm saying. Mauricio, going to you, buddy. Reggie. And a bunch of nonsense. Swing away loves the mirror.
That's why I love it when we get a bunch of people in here because someone's bound to like, like the card, the, the cards. Someone's bound to like almost all the cards. There's a bow. There's the bow show. All right, two for we got two of them. We got the bow and the. Did we get the Aquino yet? No, but we got the Alvarez, the bow and the Alvarez. I mean, we got we got a Aquino and we did get the Robert there from. Bone, uh, from Don Ross. So, the home run card for Mookie. Pretty sweet. Going Robert. And Luis Castillo. Gold foil. Going to the Reds. Luke. And back to the back. There's that Danny Murphy. Floyd, my man, that's right. Welcome. Welcome to the party. It's an exclusive group of people. Only the best and brightest this world has to offer. The bravest and the boldest. Old Billy's been soaking for quite a while on the silver packs. Hopefully they turn out. Yeah, Redskin, man. That's that's why I put that video out. The whole point, the whole reason why I started doing this was to help people and share any information that I could come up with. You know, like the value sheets and the production numbers and all that. Like, I, I could have just easily like held all that info back but I want to share everything I learned with you guys so all the little tricks to to get those cards I hope I hope they help somebody one of you guys one of the one of the hitters or the slammers I hope it did because man did it take a big chunk of my life out sitting there trying to get them but it was successful and it felt really good here we go all kinds of little tricks. Ryan Braun and a black that we didn't plan on. A black Ichiro. Nice card. I'm going to have to... That's to two ninety nine. Let's put these two... I gotta grab that black. Get it up on the stage. Who am I kidding? Where are you at? There you are. You guys, we got to back up though. Yeah, I like that Ichiro. I was pretty happy I got that Pujols Ichiro like double rookie the other day at the underground card shop. It's, it's probably worth nothing, but I like it. Okay, so we got two blacks out of this box. That's, that's nice. Otani. Count Trout. Twenty thirteen archives had some eighty five style cards, did they? All right, we got two relics. Here's the goal for one of the relics to be a parallel. That's the goal. There's a die cut card. Probably not gonna be an auto because we already got our auto. But maybe we'll get lucky. Got a dust in May. Bunch of upside down cards. And a Nick Solak. Foil. Christopher E. The Braves team card. Goldish. And a DD. Netherlands. Commemorative medallion. There you go. That one's going to Yanks. Mauricio. 
Ended up with the Honus die cut. That one's going to Cubby. And a bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. Is the weather starting to warm up for you guys? Finally today after sleet snow for the last few. Starting to warm up a little bit. I know the gold team cards, it's such a like pleasure spiked with pain. Like, oh, the team card. Looks like we got a gold foil. The Beebs. That one's going to Michael. Michael E. Congratulations. And happy birthday. There's an Aquino. Got the 85 version. Do you guys think that when they come out with like the 35th anniversary cards, it makes those cards from that era more desirable? Because in my mind now, when I actually see the 85 cards or the 84, 83, or going back, it triggers something in my brain and it's like, oh, this is a good card. Just that style, seeing that style. And Kelly supposed to hit 80, 98 today. What? <laughs> if you cut that in half, that's what I'm calling warm weather. The brawn? Nope, that's the normal one, I think. Yep. Same old brawn. Unless there's a different one. Remember, he's he's waving to a steroids guy in the stands. He's like, hey, after the game, you and me, bring your needle. I'll bring my butt. Yeah, you guys will probably have better weather tomorrow. Because that's what it was like here yesterday. Here we go. The Scott Kingery rainbow foil. Oh, okay. We got an Independence Day. Jay Bruce. That's a nice one to get. So we actually got two nice cards in this box. It's out of 76. Going to Michael. Boom. Jay Bruce. It's a nice pull there. How rare is that, you might ask? Wow, one out of 110 of these fat packs. One out of 110. Yeah. How is that possible? So we've got the blacks are one in 37, and those are numbered to 69. Oh, okay, I guess that does make sense. Yeah, black and an Independence Day out of the same box. Okay, Billy. I see you over here bringing us some, some pretty parallels. I'm still waiting to judge. Make sure you're compiling and contabulating your, your judgings to see how Billy's doing. First box, seven. Second box is looking like it's better than a seven based on the two rare parallels and that black. Those aren't any guarantee. When did you get the Ripkin? Which one? Oh, this? Just the other day. What's up, King Arthur? How you doing, buddy? 
Yeah, I just got it the other day. Big old, big old stack of cards from my buddy's underground card shop. Gavin Lux. So we pretty much got all the rookies. We got an Aquino. We got the big four, plus we got the Robert back there. So that's a good sign. Hopefully we can get a gold foil of one of the rookies, one of the good ones. Tim Anderson gold foil. Christopher C. Got a cool Jackie. No, um, I didn't see the regular one. I only saw the the other one. Maybe he's in there. Ugh. Is the Lux card going for anything? Which one? Just the regular base? I don't really know what it's worth. Raw, it's worth one thing. Graded, it's worth another. Your best bet is to get a graded and hope to get a 10. If you can pull back a 10, then we're talking de decent money probably. But I don't know how, how much of this stuff has made it to the gradings and came back already. So there's probably not a ton of 10s on the market of any of this stuff. Unless people sent it away to get the speedy treatment. Let's get one more here, Billy. That's right. Last pack, guys. And then we got these little, little guys right there. We've got one more gold card, gold foil. It's a sock. It's Yolmer Sanchez. Did we not get an SP? Did we not get an SP out of here? It's possible that I passed one. Yolmer is covering up. The final big hit, potentially, Matthew Boyd going to the Tigers. Colt. Colt's talking about getting one more hit, and look what happened. He called it out. He got it. Matthew Boyd. Never know. He might be a Yankee before too long or something, some some kind of a good team. He might be part of some kind of a good team. Billy is giving us the F face. He's saying take it or leave it. And we're just determining if we're gonna put up with it. Are we gonna put up with Billy shenanigans? It all depends. It all depends on what is in the silver packs. Let's do the, the giant turkey. You sense an auto coming up? That would be great, Glenn. Okay, we've got a Chapman. That one's going to be Mac. I'm going to put it back in the little... No, i got to leave it out so I know who it's going to. We'll set her back there. There. Come on, Silver Pack Auto. Come on, let's do this. Let's see if I can. Oh, this one's definitely thicker. Oh, maybe not. Everything. Why does it feel thicker in my right hand, but then I switch and it doesn't? Now this one feels thicker. It's weird. A oh, red Lux. No, no, Glenn, no. It's good for dingers. Oh, that one flew crazy. All the way to the ceiling. Ryan Sandberg. I don't know. I don't see any thickies. Kershaw. Will Clark. And there's a Lux. Not a red Lux, but that's still a nice Lux. Michael. Crushing. All right. Oh, got a, well, that was a dinger. It just didn't go through. We got a parallel. There it is. I think you saw it. We got a McKay 
and a Nico, and a Gallon, and a Black Frankie. Going to Mike. There you go. It's your lucky day, my friend. A Black Mojo Lindor, number to 199. So, get your judgings ready. Man, that's a tough one. We got three blacks out of that box. That is, I need to see what you guys think. We got the black Lindor, the black Murph, the black Ichiro, and an Independence Day out of one box. And of course the auto and that cheap relic and that cheap relic. 8 out of 10. Yeah. That's right, Arno. And it's not even over yet. 8.5. 8. I mean, just picture if these were actually big names. It would be... It'd probably be a 10. If even one of these was a big name... Frankie's a pretty big name, but... And Ichiro is. But, like, if that would have been somebody big, then this would be... A, crazy crazy box as it is i'm leaning towards like an eight no auction tonight william i shipped out some of the cards already so i don't want to i don't want to jip people on shipping better card the dd medallion or oh man or the boyd relic <sighs> chat amongst yourselves i don't know Probably the DD. If the Boyd was numbered, it'd be the Boyd, maybe. But, you know, pitchers don't really go for as much as hitters. Okay, the last box. The Gypsy. I think, I think Billy deserves this last box to prove his worth. I mean, the last one, he, he got a B- minus on it. So, it's, it's trending in an upward direction. We got one more, Rome Bear. Don't leave yet. I need you here to ban anybody who needs to be banned. <laughs> Hold on. We got two more autos. Can we see who that is? You can definitely see through these. So don't buy them. Don't buy them on the black market. Sweeping, soaking, I'm going to give each pack a little love, pew, 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 pew. and then let him soak on that other one. All right, let's get those likes up to 50. Come on, guys. You can do it. We always get better cards when the likes get way up there. I, it's just the way things go. We're searching. Searching for two autos out of here. You're going to put together a SGC order. Sean Murphy, good player. Okay, good. Well, hopefully he ends up... Uh, you know, just crushing all year. No, I'm not doing an auction after this. I'll do one next week. I'll do a couple breaks next week, and we'll do an auction after one of the breaks, most likely, or potentially on an off day. I haven't, I haven't planned out the the week yet. He's going to pan out. All right, Rome Bear, I'll take your word for it. I don't know anything about Sean Murphy. I need to look into him. Okay, here we go. This is a hobby exclusive. We got our black and white. Harrison Bader. Going to Glenn. These ones are nice. Number to 50. It's 
a tough pull. Tough, tough pull. Well, not that tough. What are they? Uh, okay, they're one out of 50, so... One every, you get one every couple boxes. Hold on, let me get my sleeves. Okay, cool. Thanks, Floyd. Appreciate that. All right, there we go. All right, so plus one for Bill. So we didn't have to get one. We didn't have to get a black and white. It's pretty much a coin flip. If you're gonna get one in your box. Heads or tails. Nothing crazy statistical outlier. No crazy things yet. Which are my fave? Um, Gypsy. I like Gypsy. But as far as like what will hold the most value, I probably series one, but it depends. There's a lot of factors. Tony Gwynn, short print. Now you're going to get a short print. It's just, are you going to get more than one? <clears throat> we'll set him there and keep adding to the stash. We'll see if we get two short prints. That's a plus. If the short prints are one out of 24. So you only get one per box. <clears throat> so we'll probably only get one. That's why those blasters are so sweet. Here's the Yordan. Nice fortune teller Yordan. Going to B, man. Oh, no, it's Brandon K. Going to Brandon K. Set that there, there. Make sure he gets his share. You like that. Diego likes the black and white, so do I. I always like the black and white cards. I like the contrast that you get between that and the rest of them. That's why Don Ross can become a little overwhelming. And that's one thing that they have that some people like, some people think it's too much, too flashy with all the Don Ross, everything's fancy and shiny and crazy. With this stuff, with the Gypsy, it's a throwback type of card. There we go. Is that a Wong? Is that a Colton? No, that's a Tommy Edmond. Tommy Edmond missing nameplate. So I like the, out of all the different parallels that you can get out of the Gypsy, because you can get the green ones from the blaster boxes and you can get the silver ones from the monster boxes. I prefer the box topper chromes. I think they look the coolest. And I like the contrast with the normal regular cardboard colored cards. And I actually prefer Gypsy Queen over Elm and Ginter as well. But I do like Alan and Ginter. I like how it's got some weird stuff in it. You're only a red and black parallel away from completing your Brock Holt Rainbow from 2020 Gypsy. Wow, that's an interesting rainbow to put together. I wish you luck. Probably an affordable rainbow to piece together. And there he is. Cole Calhoun. 
<clears throat> you dislike A and G because they're because of the weird stuff. Yep, yep, I heard that too. The weird stuff seems to not hold a ton of value. We got something coming up here, guys. But it does hold a little value because some people do collect that weird stuff. Here we go. I think we got our first auto. And no, sorry, I got tricked. It's a straight up trick by Brendan McKay. You sneaky snake. I don't know, Matt. Go on to eBay, search sold listings. It'll tell you. I know, McKay, you little rat. What's going on here? Where are all of our autos? I went a little wild on Allen and Ginter last year, and I regret it. So another special Mancini card. So we got a red Mancini auto, and now we got the logo swap Mancini. It's a Baltimore Orioles type of day for Nicholas A. We want some beef. Get it. Come on, we gotta have an auto coming up sometime here. See if I can judge which pack it's in. What pack do you guys think it's in? So we'll start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got two and seven chance of getting it right. I'll push them together so you can see if there's any thickies. This one's one, this one's seven. You're going four. Justin says six, three, three and five, three and five, one, far left. Hmm, okay. Nobody thinks number two. Okay, well, well, if it's a number two, you guys are, let's see, let's find out. Here's number one. Number one. Just for fun, it's in number one. One of them's in number one, and it's a Robel Garcia. Rookie on card auto. Going to Cole. There we go. And there we go. Whoever guessed number one. Congratulations, you're a clairvoyant. I suggest you hone your abilities and use them for good, not evil. You will be tempted to join the dark side, but you must deny. Three times, you must deny. Okay, that was number two. Number three, I think we had a lot of number threes, right? Three, four, five, six. yeah. I think we had a lot of number threes. Garcia has a weird backstory. He played baseball in Italy for a couple years. Huh. Oh, La Tortuga. Hi. We, here's our blue. So this is another reason why I really like the, the blaster boxes, because you get a lot of blues, but it seems like you only get one per hobby. It's a Benintendi, and it's actually an Indigo to 250. So that one's going to Robert H. And let's put it in the stack. Stack O parallels. So that was number three. Number four. Who thought it was in number four? There's a trout. Lux. Got the Lux rookie. Getting all the rooks out of the way. Just make sure we didn't miss a bazooka back here. Nope. Yeah. 
Okay. It looks like here it is. So this is number five. Who guessed number five? No, another trick. But that's a good trick by Robert. All right, Robert, that's a nice trick. The other trick that we got last time, I think it was from McKay. No, not, not so good. The Robert trick, that's a lot better. A lot better of a trick. Christopher C. Happy as can be. Oh yeah, that would be an insane auto. Okay, pack number six. Who guessed pack number six? It's your time to shine. Oh. Pack number seven it is. The very last pack. Saving the best for last. Come on, baby. Is it in here? It better be in here. What? What? Did we only get one auto out of there? I mean, we got a player's weekend card. What? We only got one auto out of there. I didn't miss an auto, did I? Billy, you son of a bitch. I, I can't believe it. I've never seen that before. Have you guys ever seen that? I mean, I guess it could be in the box topper, but I don't think that's how it works. Cause we got a box topper auto and there were, it ended up being three. Well, we got the Kiermaier. Okay, so. Wow, that's. I've never seen that before. Yeah, Billy's done. He's never allowed in these parts again either. Unless we want to make fun of him. I gotta. Look back through these. There's no way we missed one. These look like on the back. See, it looks special on the back. No, I looked at all of them. There's no bazooka backs. But that wouldn't change anything. through these again and we'll open our box topper Billy's out of a job for sure though I'm gonna call MLB tonight and just make sure he never works in this town again okay maybe maybe there's something in here and I don't know don't ever show your face around here again but 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 never again Check the back of the SP. What would that be? I think they signed it on the back or something. Hmm. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Time to write tops tell them I have a serious problem with the way they do business we got a Santana a Springer and a Giolito to close it out well 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 unbelievable we can look at the hits that we did get though we got a Tony Gwynn short print the Ben and Tendi to 250 got the Mancini logo swap the missing nameplate, stack of chromes, three chromes, got the player's weekend, Kiermaier, got that auto, got that black and white to 50. So other than the missing auto, that was a good box, but Billy is a 
poor manager. He's, we'll just say he's a manager of cards, a poor manager of cards. We got the Black Frankie. Independence Day Bruce. The DD Netherlands. Daniel Murphy Black to 69. The Black Ichiro. The Boyd Relic. The Red Lopez to 99. The Robert Rated Rookie. Blue Vladdy Relic. The Red Mancini Auto to 99. And the Sean Murphy. Excellent. Excellent player, Sean Murphy. Murphy. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I've got a bonfire to attend with my family. I hope you all have a wonderful night and a wonderful day. I'll try to make a video this weekend. Maybe do a live stream, hang out. I don't know. We'll do something, though. And then next week, I'll have a couple more breaks planned. Strikerbreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good evening. I will catch you all later.